after more than a decade, we are finally seeing some innovation at the browser level and perplexity is at the forefront of this disruption. So earlier this month, Perplexity released Comet, their AI-forced or AI-integrated browser, which works like an agent that blurs the line between searching for information and acting on that information for you, all from a single interface. These are a list of things Comet can help you do right now. So you can see this is not just a browser, it is beyond a browser. And in this video, I will show you 15 real-world use cases of Comet, from simple YouTube summary tags to multi-step agent workflows. By the end of this video, you will know what is possible and how you can bring Comet into your own workflow. Ready? Let's get started. So let's start with a very simple uh, prompt. Now, here is the thing. Comet has Perplexity AI engine built inside of it. So it is using Perplexity because it is owned by Perplexity. But then this particular test is to show you, instead of you skimming through tens of links, you can just get your answers distilled for you. And of course, the sources are cited as well. Uh, this is just a very simple and basic uh, use case. Let's look at some LinkedIn use cases. How can it help you to be more productive on LinkedIn? Most of us, we just save on LinkedIn. We most times not go back to um, reading what we save or watching what we saved, right? So this could help you. But then I'm already logged into my LinkedIn on this browser. So it is able to navigate to the safe post and you can see, gave me summary of each post that I saved, including who made the post, right? And summary of each of the content. Now let's try something more interesting. For example, let's say you get tons of messages on a daily basis, right? You want to differentiate marketing or sales outreach from genuine connections, right? So I'll just ask it. Now, if you look at the image on the right side of the screen, you would see it is able to navigate to LinkedIn, go to uh, the inbox or message section. Now I have a list of inbox messages classified based on intent. With this, you could answer and respond to genuine requests. Now let's try something more interesting. So Comet is able to see through all the tabs that you have opened on your browser. So I'm asking Comet to provide a detailed summary of two open tabs of Stephanie's weekly AI Bytes newsletter. So Stephanie is a fellow Perplexity fellow. This could help you unlock some other use cases. Probably you are making a research. It will help you compare two tabs, three tabs that you have opened, and then you make your decision. Now let's look at what it did. You can see it gave me an highlight of what the old newsletter is all about. So this is the way Stephanie is using the Comet browser. Now the fourth use case. This is one of the things I found most interesting about Comet. So let's say you are browsing through a web page, right? And you just want to ask some questions and all of that. You want an interactive experience. So if you look at the um, icons at the top, by the way, uh, Comet was built on Chrome. So it has features of the Chrome browser. For example, you can import your extensions and all of that. But this is what I want to show you. Now, if you look at the top right corner of the screen, you will see there is a sidebar assistant. So you can ask questions regarding your current web page that you are browsing. So I'll ask, okay, uh, so let's see. Now it is giving me summary of the page. Can you see? <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. Some uh, delicate of Jenny Beats. Now, it included yourself in brackets. Yourself. So it knows it is me. So I was part of the speaker at this conference. Can you see presented a blueprint for upskilling Europe's non-technical workforce, emphasizing AI literacy, reward uh, problem solving, and scalable innovation. So this is mind blowing. Probably you want to ask follow-up questions. You can decide to just open this inside of perplexity and then continue the conversation from there. So let's proceed. So since we already have uh, the sidebar assistant, now we launch the voice mode. So it takes voice as input. Now this is a thread by Perplexity CEO on Reddit. 
when they launch our comment. So let's ask some questions, right? Let me just turn on the voice mode. Sure. What do you need help with? Okay, can you tell me uh, the most upvoted thread on this uh, page? The most upvoted thread on this page discusses privacy concerns regarding Comet. The question asked how Comet addresses privacy when personal data is accessible to the assistant. The response explained that user data is stored locally on the device and only minimal data is shared with servers when absolutely necessary. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. And there you have it. So you could ask some questions, just have live uh, conversation with it. Now let's try something as well. So this is like a web page for one of our programs at Genibit. So it also has these screenshots button. So for example, let's say you are browsing through a web page and you just uh, stumbled upon an image, an object, and you are just curious to know what the image is. You can say, I just took a screenshot and I'll ask it, uh, what kind of image is this? Kindly describe. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, now you can see it is giving me a detailed description of the image. Can you see? Now I can decide to maybe open this on perplexity and uh, generate this image with the prompt above. Of course, perplexity is able to generate images. Can you see? So it is doing that. All right, so um, I just thought of sharing that as well. So why it is doing that, let's move ahead. Uh, to another use case. For example, let's see, you just want to use Comet to learn. For example, you want to learn about uh, automation, how you can automate some things, right? I could just ask, can you break down this May uh, workflow? And boom, you see, it is breaking down uh, the workflow. Now, this is you using it to learn. You can as well just tell it to put together some workflow. I'm not just sharing that use case in this particular video, but then you could ask it, okay, I want to automate this, find me the right modules and connect the workflows. It is capable of doing that. So I just want to highlight uh, that particular use case. Now let's move into something more interesting, right? So this is YouTube. Virtually everybody makes use of YouTube. So for example, you want to get a summary of a YouTube video. Right? So this is my YouTube channel. I want to do something different. So I will ask you to give me a breakdown of the workflow shared in the video. Let's see, we have the breakdown, assessing video tree, prompting for video creation, crafting high quality prompt. Good. Oh, interesting. Generating and arranging video clips, optimizing and downloading uh, the final film, tips and costs. I mean, this is amazing. I created a video so I know uh, <laughs> if this is correct or not. So yeah, this is actually good. So you can use this to summarize YouTube videos. And the interesting part is Comet is able to interact with the media players. That is, it could pause, it could fast forward uh, the video and all of that. So it can also ask some specific questions. For example, let's say you avoid the video and then you forgot something. It could ask it to point you in the right direction. So beyond just summarizing um, videos and all of that, you could ask it to analyze a comment section for the sentiment. Is it something positive or negative? If people found the video truly valuable, then you will know if you should go ahead to watch it or not. Can you see, based on the comment visible on YouTube, users repeatedly thank the creator for the very detailed instructions and valuable information. Several comments express genuine appreciation and say the technology and guidance are impressive. Can you see some reviewers find the video informative, practical, and easy to follow with multiple things? Now you can decide whether to go watch the video or not watch the video. Other use cases, some people have said they ask it to recommend other videos just like this. So let's say you watch a video, you want to watch more of that video, you could ask it to uh, recommend and all of that. Okay, now let's look at the night use case. One of the things I was trying to do was create um, a Chrome extension that is able to see my Facebook or Meta ad uh, campaign dashboard and tell me, okay, this is what you need to optimize, this is what you need to do, and all of that. There will be no need for that anymore since we have 
uh, a browser that can see everything on the screen. But I want you to do something for me. I want you to explain the metrics of this ad campaign in such a way that a non-marketing professional will understand and maybe suggest ways in which I could optimize the campaign for better results. Impressions are how many times your ad was shown. Clicks are how many times people clicked on it. CTR, click-through rate, is the percentage of people who saw the ad and clicked it. CPC cost per click is how much you pay on average for each click. If your impressions are high, but clicks are low, you might need to improve your ad's message or visuals. A low CTR suggests people see the ad, but aren't interested enough to click. If CPC is high, you're paying a lot for each interaction, so targeting or bidding strategies might need tuning. To improve, test different ad messages, refine your audience targeting, or adjust your budget to maximize clicks at a lower cost. Thank you. Oh, I also forgot to mention, at the moment, success comment, you either subscribe to the $200 plan or you join their waitlist. I was fortunate to get early access through the AI fellowship. Thanks to Prof. Sashin, he was uh, able to get me an invite code. Now, let's perform some automated action. Since uh, perplexity is integrated into Comet, so it has the intelligence of perplexity and the agentic capability of Comet, right? So, we'd ask it to suggest 10 unique domain names for the MarTech software and then check the availability on Namecheap add it to my card. So here is the thing. I've not logged into my name chip. So Comet is capable of filling out forms and even logging into your account. So far you have the password saved in your browser. So uh, let's see if it is able to do this. Now if you look to the uh, right, it is now searching for domains on name chip, if they are available or not. It has completed the first tax and uh, let's see the domains that are available. Okay, so we have not available registered domains, and then uh, we have the ones that are available. So we have these, 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 these uh, domains that are available. So we have domain is available and has been added to CAT. Now let's try some advanced agentic workflows with integrated applications. Okay, so I have uh, a list of clients that I offer services to. Now I want Comet to help me create a zoom link or a zoom meeting link for each of these clients whenever we agree on the time to meet it's saying i have a meeting on friday perplexity ai business fellowship so it's checking my google calendar since this is not 9 pm so it is going ahead to schedule the zoom meeting and you can see it is creating uh the zoom meeting so let's see uh meetings so right now there is no meeting like when it is done would we'll refresh okay so the meeting has been created so let's refresh can you see so the meeting has been created so I, now that tax is complete so the next thing is to add it to my google calendar um friday so currently this is what i have on my schedule so let's see what happens so it's still loading now it is providing me details of the meeting so it is asking if I, everything is okay so I'll just say schedule and it is done so let's refresh our Google Calendar to see can you see automatically it is scheduled then proceed to notify the client via email and WhatsApp okay so good can you see so um, I have a draft like a template for the email and the WhatsApp so if you can see it is actually to send can you see and uh, for whatsapp let's see can you see now it is now sending to my whatsapp now it is saying uh it has drafted the whole thing and i'm sending okay so i will share a screen recording on my uh, mobile device to see now i'm not the one pasting this you can see on the right it is doing everything and boom it has sent uh the email can you see i just opened the email i'm sorry i just opened the whatsapp chat and there you have it. I could uh, go on and on and show you some other use cases, but I think this is already getting uh, too lengthy. Can you see? Samuel has received the meeting invitation for Friday, email invitation, WhatsApp message, and just like that, everything is done. 
Now, let's try um, another use case. So I want you to uh, check the last 10 YouTube partnership or collaboration emails that I received. So I want you to pick out all of these collaboration partnership requests, research the product and the company reputation, perform a sentiment analysis, and cross-check if we could work together and put everything in a table. So these are some of the things I do step by step whenever a brand reaches out to me. Mm, now look at that uh, product sentiment, company reputation, the product and the company. Um, summary of findings and all of that. So I could even go ahead and ask it. So let me say, craft a response to the short.ai email and send. So let's see. Automatically, it knows the, the person to send it to uh, the response content, very detailed, everything is on point. I could decide to refine the email or send. Once I click this send, it will actually send the email from the browser, but I'll not be doing that. Okay, can you see email rejected? And that is it. And that use case I want to share. So why I in our this video? So I was able to deploy my GitHub repository on to Vessel and Heroku autonomously. Everything was done and handled by Comet. This is one of the mind-blowing use cases I've seen so far with uh, Comet. So let's try some transaction-based tax. So for instance, you are trying to purchase something. It could be plane ticket, a book, a reservation, or other groceries from your grocery store. Just anything. So right now I'm trying to get dumbbells and I want a comment to first of all help me research dumbbells with the best price and best reviews. So you can see it is showing, it is clicking, it is reasoning, it is navigating through the web page, it can do all of these things. So I was able to find the dumbbells for me based on the price and quality reviews, right? So another one I would like to share is, uh, you, can, you can see other right to a manufacturer on uber directly from the browser it was able to do that because i was logged into my uber also you could ask it to order um, something from uber eats so i think you have covered a lot of use cases but then i'm also curious to see how you are using a uh, comment or what will be the first use case you would like to try once you have access uh, to comment drop in the comment section and i will see you on the next one bye for now